Uh-huh. And what time Zulu would that be? Give me a second. I'm doing the math in my head. Seven. That mm -hmm. is 19 plus seven. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm sorry I haven't posted a video in a very long time. My name is Michael Shu, and today I will be teaching you how to call a weather briefer and get a standard weather briefing. Weather is so important while during flying. There are two official weather places that you can get your weather. One is aviationweather.gov and another one is 1-800-WX-BRIEF. Today we will call 1-800-WX-BRIEF and get a weather briefing. So when you call 1-800-WX-BRIEF, there are a few things you need to tell them. Your tail number, whether your flight is VFR, IFR, weather briefing, I don't know why it's, weather briefing, it says here, it's weather briefing. Next one is time, time you're departing in Zulu, standard coordinated time. Next is altitude, what altitude that you'll be cruising to get to your destination. Last but not least, it is the route that you're gonna take to get to your destination. So right now, we're gonna call 1-800-WX-BRIEF together and get this weather briefing. So it is 1-800-9927433. That turns into WX-BRIEF. All right, I'm calling them. See that? Okay. Let's put it on speaker. Briefer. What state are you departing from or calling about? You may enter the two letter state abbreviation on your keypad or speak your response now. California. Do you want Northern California or Southern California? Southern California. Connecting me to a flight briefer. Hi, I'm flight services. Hi. Uh, I'm planning a trip from San Diego, uh, KMYF, Montgomery to Hemet. Tail number is November 30 Lima Uniform. I'll be flying VFR. I'll be departing at Give me a second. I'll be departing at 7 p.m. Uh-huh, and what time Zulu would that be? Give me a second, I'm doing the math in my head. Seven, that mm -hmm. is 19 plus seven. Two, two Zulu. Okay. Yes, I'll be cruising at altitude of 4,500. Yes. What type of aircraft are you? Are you? Yes, uh, Cessna 172. Estimate your route. Uh, hour and a half. No T for for today on that route of flight. Okay, no T. And uh, the IFR airmen offshore with, um... Yes, VFR flight. All right, thank you so much. This was super helpful. All right, have a good one. Hey, you too. Have a great day. <laughs> Bye. Bye-bye. All right, there it is. I just called a weather briefer. So a few things you need to note down is they're gonna tell you so much information. I wrote all the information down here, but they're just going really fast, so I kind of shorthand write it. And some things I missed that you have to say, the type of aircraft that you'll be flying in, and the time in Zulu. You need to tell them the time in Zulu that you're departing, which I was not prepared. I knew I had to tell them the time in Zulu, but I just wasn't prepared. I'm leaving 7 p.m. with a plus seven. I have to do all this math in Zulu. So that was 
just remember to do your calculation before you call them. And then the, yeah, just let them know if it's flying IFR or VFR. And then they'll just give you a bunch of notums, which are noticed airmen, things you need to watch out. They'll tell you what the weather, the winds alofts are, depending on the altitude you're flying. They'll tell you if there's any severe thunderstorms or weather, <clears throat> wind shear, icing, rain, all these things that'll help you plan your flight better. I hope that was super helpful. If you guys enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. If you want to know more about my aviation training or things you want me to cover a video on, let me know, comment down below, and I'll get that to you. Hope to see you in the next video. Michael Shu, out. Whoosh.